Our first headline is about Apple, the world's biggest tech giant and smallest producer of apples. Because this pandemic has forced people to wear masks all the time, a lot of iPhone users have noticed that unlocking your phone with your face doesn't work anymore. And I mean, it makes sense. You have a mask on, so the phone can't recognize you. Hell, nobody can recognize you, except that guy at the bank who says he somehow recognized me. <laughs> and then the jury bought his story. <sighs> Three years later, here we are. Anyway, it's being reported that Apple is about to launch a new feature to fix this problem by letting people punch in a secret code that unlocks the phone. Yeah. And I know, I know what the haters are gonna say. Oh, we had this technology years ago. Yeah, exactly. This is the genius of Apple. They're trying to take us back in time. Because if we're back in time, there's no corona. And Cheryl hasn't broken up with me. Please, Cheryl, you gotta take me back. The woman in the background, I swear, I don't know who she was. I think she was like a robber. The only reason she was naked is because she was probably stealing clothes. Please take me back, Cheryl. <laughs> like I didn't, I just didn't know. In other news, we're going on six weeks of lockdown and it's clearly starting to wear on some people's nerves. People like Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and man who definitely has an escape hatch. He's never been a fan of the shutdown in the first place, but last night he pushed the button for insane mode. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is being criticized after he, he launched into a rant filled with expletives on Tesla's earnings call. The extension of the shelter in place, uh, or frankly, I would call it forcibly imprisoning people in their homes uh, against all their constitutional rights, that, that in my opinion, breaking people's freedoms in ways that are horrible and, and, and wrong, uh, and not why people came to America or built this country. What the Excuse me. If somebody wants to stay in their house, that's that's great. They should be allowed to stay in their house and they should not be compelled to leave. But to say that they cannot leave their house um, and they will be arrested if they do, this is fascist. Give people back their goddamn freedom. Yes, Elon, finally, finally, someone has decided to call out this fascist American government that's asking people to please stay in their houses to try and save their own lives. I mean, you're not even allowed to go to the grocery store anymore. Well, I mean, actually you can't go to the grocery store, but I mean, you, you can't even go for a walk. I mean, you, you can do that too, but what about the beach? You're not allowed to go to the beach, except for all the states where you're allowed to go to the beach, but you definitely can't go to H&M. And that is the definition of fascism. Now I see what Elon Musk is really doing here. This guy's just trying to stir up civil unrest so that people end up buying one of his bulletproof trucks. We need to rise up to fight the government from inside our cyber trucks now available with full autopilot. You know, the weirdest part about all of this is that Elon Musk always says that we're all living in a computer simulation, but now he's like, yo, yo, the universe might be fake, but my stock price is real. Let's take this shit seriously, people. Speaking of people with no filter, President Trump. A lot of us have always wondered for a long time if Trump actually pays attention to all the tweets that he gets. And it turns out he does bigly. An engineer in California who tweeted the president was paid $69 million for ventilators that never came. On March 27th, President Trump posted on Twitter to urge Ford and General Motors to start making ventilators now. A man named Yaron Oren Pines tweeted back, we can supply ICU ventilators, have someone call me urgent. And that's all it took. The guy had just 75 followers on Twitter and no apparent experience in manufacturing. But three days later, New York State entered into a $69 million contract with the man. A New York State official said that they entered the contract at the direct recommendation of the White House Coronavirus Task Force. Now New York has terminated the deal and is trying to get its money back. $69 million. Guys, come on. First of all, if someone tells you the price of anything is $69 million, it's a joke. 69 is pranking 101. And second of all, nice.